Picking the right references can help you nail down that interview that you really, really want. But who do you ask? Hello everyone and welcome to Happy Farm Life. My name is Sierra Richard. I'm a pharmacist and a PGY1 resident who is wanting to help you get the residency of your dreams and in turn that career you've always been looking for. Before we jump in, I do want to do a little disclaimer here that the advice I'm sharing in this video is based on my own personal experience, which may be different from yours. So when you look at this advice that I'm giving you, think about it from your perspective and take the pieces that you need and leave those that you don't. Okay, with that in mind, here we go. Picking the right references is very important because these are the people that you are asking to speak on your behalf and recommend that you go to a program. They're not only speaking about you professionally, but who you are as a person and if they think that you might be a good fit. They're also letting your program know whether or not everything you've put on your CV can really be backed up. So you wanna do a good job and be diligent in picking the right people. You also wanna go about the process very professionally because you want to be respectful of them and their time that they're putting into helping you grow and reach your goals. So here are some tips I have for your references and their professionalism around them. First is picking people you know well. This can be professors or preceptors, it can be your pharmacy manager, it can be your coworkers who are pharmacists. But whoever it is, they need to be able to speak about you in many different aspects, not just what you do at work, but your personality and who you are and your work ethic. They need to be able to talk about your strengths and weaknesses and if they feel like you're going to be a good fit for the program that you're applying to. If possible, it's also good to find references who are willing to do a personalized letter for each of your different programs because that can speak a little bit more to why you're a good fit to each individual one. Another very important part of this that I don't think everybody thinks of is your professionalism as you go about this. You have to ask the people you are writing for to write you a letter. So first off, you want to ask, can you give me a positive letter recommendation? That word positive is huge because that's going to tell you whether or not that they can give you the letter that you need to get a residency. If they don't feel like it's positive, then you need to find somebody else. The last thing you want to do is find out later that they didn't think highly of you and you've already asked them for a letter and it's submitted. Hopefully you're not in that situation, but it may happen. So always ask, can you write me a positive letter of reference? for residency. I also think it's very important and professional of you to one, ask them up front if they're willing to write those personalized letters, not just sending them to them. Additionally, you should be upfront with them on how many programs you're applying to. If you're applying to seven, that is very different than if you're applying to 14 and asking personalized letters for each one of them. That's a huge time commitment and maybe they've already committed to students so they might not have the time to commit to your letters. It's not that they don't like you, it's just that's a lot of letters to write. Additionally, if you're gonna ask for personalized material, I think it's very good to give them the materials they need to be successful in that. For example, which programs you're applying to and why? What is your goal for residency? What's your five-year, 10-year plan that you wanna get out of it professionally and your goals for your career? Maybe they've changed a little bit, but this is their best way for them to make sure that that letter is personalized and they know what you're really wanting and getting out of that experience. So one of the things I like to think about is all these questions. So you give them your goals. How is that program specifically gonna meet those goals? Why do you like it? Is it this rotation opportunity or maybe what their residents have done in the past, the research that they do? Let them know what things stand out to you about that program. Setting your letter writers up for success is a big part of making sure that you are getting portrayed in the light that you want to be and making them more successful and writing the letter easier if they know what you want and they can speak to those questions when they're asked. Once again, you need to be respectful of your letter writer's time. You're asking them to do a lot of letters likely and it takes a lot of time. It's the holidays. So I recommend not bugging them too frequently, reminding them of your applications. They know that it's there. If it's the day before and you haven't heard from them and nothing is done in forecast, maybe it's appropriate to say, hey, I just wanted to remind you that I have this letter coming up. I really, really appreciate your time and energy that you're putting into writing letters for me. If you have any questions or need more information, I'm happy to assist you with that. Just do a really respectful email. Let them know that there's a quick reminder. Make sure they know when your deadlines are. That's the other thing up front you need to let them know, but also reminding them if it does become the day before and you haven't heard from them in a while. 
Once again, it's always important to know what your program wants and what their requirements are. Some of them will require you to have specific individuals write your letters. So maybe you have three that you choose, but then they want a manager and you didn't have a manager. So you have to find your manager and let them know that you have this one letter. It's required, blah, blah, blah. You just don't want to wait till the last second and look and be like, oh darn, I need to ask this person to write a letter and I haven't done it yet. Additionally, some places will require a formal letter on letterhead be written instead of just the forecast application. And if that's the case, I recommend giving your letter writers even more time. Typically, I say two to three weeks. If you can give them more, that is fantastic because it is a big part of your application and it's going to take them a lot of time and energy and you want to make sure that they're not rushed. They also are more likely to say no if you give them a one week's notice because there's Christmas, there is New Year's, people are out of town, and they might not have the time to dedicate to your application. Also, once you've hit that submit button, make sure you write handwritten thank you cards to every single person who wrote letters. It's the least you can do for the time they spent, which is likely hours, filling out those forecast forms for you to be a letter of reference and help you reach your goals. So do them a favor, write them at least a thank you note, and I promise you that they will appreciate that. And it goes a long way about you as a person and professionally if you're really grateful for that thing that they gave you. Because it's a gift. It's a gift that they're giving you to write a reference letter to help you reach your goals. Last but not least, before you hit that submit button, make sure your designations are all correct. I talk about that in my video about submitting, so check it out if you haven't already and good luck with your applications and finding your references. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I'm gonna be doing tons more residency videos. You can also check out some of my other residency prep videos in the description below. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them in that comments below. I'm going to be checking these up until I know the deadlines go until like January 6th-ish plus. So I'm gonna be checking those messages every single day and responding to you to make sure that you are 100% prepared to hit that submit button. Good luck with your residency applications and I will see you next time. Bye.